Hey everybody, welcome back to the Parkinson's Gym. I'm Zach, your ringleader for the day. Today we're gonna to be doing seated power exercises. Now these exercises specifically developed for people with Parkinson's called the Parkinson's Wellness Recovery Moves. And they're all about shifting and moving and reaching and stepping. However, they do not have to be done from standing. Standing is great and all, but you know, sometimes standing you just had enough. So you sit down. So what I want you to do is, all you're gonna need today for this uh, workout is a chair, you know, gravity and that kind of stuff. So go ahead and have a seat if you aren't already. And something I wanna make sure that you're doing or not doing is what I call butt diving. Now, that sounds awful, but let me tell you what I'm talking about. M many people, when they go to sit down, it's just a, maybe a reach back here, I don't know why, and you're kind of just diving at the chair and you end up maybe on the corner of the chair or even on the floor. And that's what I'm really worried about and that's what I don't want. Also what I see is just, I uh, hope it's back there and they're down. If it isn't back there or the chair's not terribly stable, you could be going over and it's gonna be a lot worse than you want. What I want you to do, sitting down, nice and square to the chair, butt back, down, easy, down, easy, stay under control the whole time, and then shift over onto that chair. I gotta let Laura in, she's about to lose her mind. Come on. You, you heard us, didn't you? Okay, all right. Laura's gonna come out here and spread some cat hair around, so good to see you, Laura. All right, so hips, hips straight down, shoulders on top of your hips. Just because you're sitting doesn't mean you got bad posture. Right, Laura? All right. So, shifting back onto that chair. If you can, don't even use the back of your chair. All right, so what I want you to do, just sit up nice and tall, perfect and straight, eyes level, shoulders over your hips, and then, you know, just flop it all over. Come all the way over, just burp, hunch over, pet the cat a little bit. All right, now one muscle at a time, one bone at a time. Come all the way back up to seat it perfectly straight up seated, shoulders back, hands out. It's best if your chair does not have arms for this exact reason. One more time, one of those. Just flump over and then let's come all the way up and let it all happen one piece at a time. Just sort of stack yourself back up right on top. Head on your shoulders, shoulders on your hips, hips on the chair. There we go, we're set. All right, let's rock and roll. All the way up, just continue that reach straight up arms up as high as you can. If your shoulders are not letting you reach up that high, do what you can, but I want you to stretch up high and now let them down nice and easy. All right, good. So let's push all the way forward. Sorry, I got my little menu down here. I got lost there for a second. Push as far as you can, roll your back over. All right, now pull it back in tight. Oh gosh, like you're trying to touch your elbows together behind you. All right, push them all the way forward. Yo, doggies. Pull them back. Why are pirates called pirates? Push it all the way forward. Because they are. Pull it all the way back. <laughs> okay, jokes are free. One more time. Nah, we got enough. Hands on your knees. Arch your back up. We're doing kind of a cat cow. Arch your back, tuck your head down, roll your hips under. All right, now head back, chest through, all the way up as far as you can. All right, bow it over. Pull it back up. We're doing cow. Here's our cat. One more cat. Not that I need any more. And then chest up. Good cow. Chest through, sit tall, head up. Okay, that's a little over flexion for the cow. We want to bring yourself straight up and down. All posture is, is resisting what gravity, and in this case, Parkinson's, wants to do to you. Parkinson's wants to pull everything into your lap and just make you a tiny ball. And gravity and age are gonna do the same thing. So strengthening your back and stretching your front is just gonna do everything it can to fight back against that constant pull into your lap. So you gotta think up and open that away. All right, groovy, enough of that. Shrugs. You know, just take your shoulders as high as you can, and now take them as low as you can, straight down through the sockets. Not up here, straight down. You make yourself comfortable there, Laura. Shrug all the way up. Press all the way down. Shrug all the way up. Press it straight down. One more, all the way up. 
and then press down. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, take your left hand here. Put it on your right knee. This is going to be a little bit weird, but what I want you to do is reach way back and open as far as you can reach, and now reach through your arm all the way through. That's kind of weird, but stick with me. All the way open, big stretch through your chest, big turn, and then kind of hunch it all the back through. Open it up, pull through your shoulders, stretch through your chest, look way back behind you, and then reach all the way through. Let's go with the other side. Right hand, left knee. Reach through, we'll start the other way. Open up. Oh man, you get a little push through that side knee, kind of helps, reach all the way through. Open all the way up, throw back. Reach all the way through, get your fingers involved in there too. As you throw back, your fingers go all the way back, wide open. Fingers are involved in that curl up too. So keep those puppies active for you. All right, overhead reach, shrugs, cat cow, reach through. All right, reach and rock. Let's take it all the way up, just one arm. And I want your shoulder to drop on this side and then switch and then switch. So you're switching back and forth as much as you can, pulling this elbow into your ribs. And now this one, and now this one. And again, your hand is huge overhead. Shaboink. Five. And four. You thought we were just gonna do five total. Three, I like to keep you on edge. <laughs> Get it, edge, your chair. And one. And one. I think I skipped two, but nobody seems to mind. Let's do the same thing reaching forward. This arm kind of back, like load the gun and then switch. Pull it back and switch. Pull it back and switch. Big hand to the forward and switch. Forward and switch and forward and switch. That's pretty good. So a lot of the key to balance as well as a stable gait is being able to control your core and rotate your core. Same with posture, it's all in the center here. That's everything that's controlling. So should you start to tip over this way, your core's got the strength to sort of stand you back up. Same with walking. Walking's got a little twisting to it. You gotta do it, just a little bit, much as you can take through your center. All right, what are we doing here? Let's kick it off. Feel pretty, feel pretty started up. How about you? Yeah, she's excited. All right, let's go. Wide open, hands to the front, and then boy, everything open, eyes and all. Oh man, fingers, and then close it back down. And then wide open again, and then close it back down. And wide open again. All right, this time you're gonna twist and close to one side like a book. Close it over here. And open it back. Go as far as you can. Twist and close. Try to touch your hands together. Open it back up. Big pull. Closed. Open up. Pull through the shoulders. Closed. Pull. Closed. Pull and closed. Ah, see? All the way open. Strong through the back. Wide through the chest. That's the ticket. Okay. Kick and reach. We haven't done much for our legs. Just because we're sitting down doesn't mean you don't work your legs. Just kick your foot straight out in front of you, toe up, toe up, kick, kick. Straighten the knee, fully straighten. Look at your knee and go, is it straight? Is it straight? Uh-huh. Is it straight? Kick it straight out. Or let's add the arms to it. Left foot, right arm, right foot, left arm. Twist, twist just like you were doing. Don't just hunch and reach, twist and reach. Here all, twist and reach. Laura, she's chewing on the tripod. Twist and reach, twist and reach, twist, twist. Let's get five, four, three, two, one. Pretty good, I'm starting to break a little sweat. Not bad at all. Okay, um, reach back. This is like the kids are in the back seat of the car and you need to reach back there. Reach around, smack at them. So I want you to reach as far back as you can and then recover. And reach far back this direction and recover. Now if you can't get a full 180 and back, 
Go as far as you can and back. Now you're not leaning, you're just turning. And even if you're just this far, that's pretty good. And this far, that's more than just sitting watching TV. Maybe just go a little further. <laughs> Maybe a little further. One more as far as you can. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty nice. What do you think of that, Laura? Okay. Let's put a couple of these together. So we got the kick. Well, yeah. We're going to do superstars. Watch out, Laura. Here it comes. So your arms are forward. As you kick one foot, fly. Together. Kick and fly. Together. Kick and fly. Together. Now pull your head back with your shoulders. Get everything in the middle of your shoulders, tight as you can. Bam, and bam, and pull. Fingers are open. Anybody keeping count? Laura, you keeping count? And five, together. Four, alternating feet. Three, together. Two, together. One, together. I want your back to get used to but this feels normal. This is where you want to be. So when you start to oh, look at your shoes, you're like, whoop, that's not normal. Back up, eyes level, head on shoulders, shoulders on hips, up and proud. Good. Superstar is done. Cape Fly, personal favorite. It is not a place on the South Carolina coast. I know. Big disappointment. So I want you to kind of hinge forward. Hinge from your hips. Don't crumple. Hinge. Okay? Hands here. And then you open low and back in the shape of a cape. But keep that forward lean. Forward. Fly. It's almost like you're trying to pull the points of your shoulder blades together. Forward. Fly. Forward. Fly. Forward. Fly. Yeah, your head comes up too. Back. And three. And arms are straight. Two. And last one. One. And ah, it's kicking in. Kicking in. What you want, Laura? Okay. We're calling this step over the cat. Perfect timing. I asked her to come up here. So it's going to be a up and out, up and back. Other foot, up and out, up and back. Go as far as your knee and your hip, uh, hip, hip will allow. Up and out, bring it back. Up and out, step over the cat, bring it back. Uh, like you're stepping out of a box. Burp, beert, burp, beert. One more each side, out and up. Back, you're rotating out 90, and back. That's good stuff. All right, now we're getting a little crumply forward, so I want you to lean back. Take a quick rest. Okay, quick. Arms overhead as much as you can. You're going to bring left knee in and reach for your left heel with your right hand, and then switch. Right heel, left hand. Right heel, left. Left heel, right. And one. Two, go to full extension on your knee. Three, four, five, six. Pull your knees in tight. Seven, eight. How many are we doing, Laura? Nine, ten. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. That's called dead bug. Not really dead because they're still struggling. Probably should start calling it struggling bug. But that doesn't have the same ring to it, you know? All right. So we did the eh, and a eh. I want you to kick and back. So extend your knee, kick out to the side. You might feel a little bit of loins kick in there. That's the idea. Here we go. One and two. Pull your toe back towards you. Three and four. Keep going. Standing tall. Five. Six posture is always there. Eight, nine, ten. Let's get three more. Three, two, one. Posture. Posture will always be there for you. You got good posture, it's going to help you out. Keep your organs all straightened out, keep your shoulders nice and tall. 
posture's there for you, man. Okay, let's add that kick out. Let's throw a reach to it. Full extension reach, I even want you to turn your head and look at your thumb. So bam to the right, bam to the left. And 12, 11, we're counting backwards. 10, I don't know why I had to tell you that. Eight, seven, six, five, four. This is like a used car. Two, last one. Gotcha. That is great for arm extension, getting the legs and the arms working together. Oh man, just doesn't get any better. Okay, bring your knees together in front of you, sitting up nice and tall again. What I want you to do is basically lie down, take a little nap on your thighs. Beard plop. Okay, your arms are outside of your feet. Just let every muscle in your back relax. Okay, here we go. We're gonna stack everything back up. Creak it all the way up. Pull your arms out to your side like you are getting your fingers pulled in both directions. Oh, man. All right. Phew. That didn't make a lot of sense. Your middle, middle fingers are being pulled apart. Flop over. Relax. Back up. Everything's tight. Abs tight. Fingers extended. Oh, your back is tight. Everything's great. And then phew, let it down. These are called thighs to flies. All the way up one more time. Chop. Pull your hands back as far as they will go. Your shoulders are like mashing your shoulder blades together. Let's get one more. These are so awesome. All the way forward. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Good relax. Ah, <sighs> Big deep breath. Pet the cat. Here we go. Up. Ooh, that. Ooh, that's good. There's not much that didn't work. Okay. Russian punches. We do Russian punches. In Russia, Russia punches you. Yeah, pretty much. All right, right knee's gonna come up. You don't have to stick your legs out. If you can extend your legs, all the better. If you, you know, you're like, that's a little wobbly. Don't do it. I just want you to pick up a knee and then reach across that knee. So it's left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. Ah, watch out, Laura. Huh? And I'm right. And I'm right. And I'm hurt. all the way across. So across, like your knee and your elbow are touching. Pew. And pew. what are you doing? Pew. She's lost her mind. Pew. Let's get ten more. Ten. Nine. Kind of like the Heisman. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Sit tall. Three. Two. And uno. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoo, doggies. Just getting fun. Okay, remember this and this. I want you to go opposite directions. Left foot, right hand. All right, watch out, Laura, coming at you. Right foot, left. Yeah. Left foot, right. Boom. Right foot, left. Boom. Left foot, right. Big extension. Let's turn the head. Watch your foot. She's a very trusting cat, isn't she? 10, and nine, and eight. Like you're stepping over, Laura. Six, five, full elbows straight, knees straight. Three, two, and one. Woo, man, feel those right there? See hip flexors and hip, hip, mover muscle thingies in there. There's a lot going on in your hips. So that took some, took a lot of different muscles to do. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna go right down the center now. So we went all different directions. Once you go right down the center, arms up, you're gonna punt. If you can, stick your legs out straight. And what I want you to do is punt and punt. Both hands, one foot all the way up tall, two foot. No, just one foot, now the other foot. The other foot, up. Up, up, punt, and punt, and punt. We're going from crumple to straight, crumple to straight. Six more, five more, four more, three more, 
two more, and uh, oh man, you don't have to stand up to get a workout. I dig it. Okay, floor archer. This is a little, little unusual. What I want you to do, sort of wide, wide knees here. Take your left elbow to your left knee like you're in some tough negotiation with a trucker. I don't know. So your right hand is down here. But what I want you to do is pull it up and reach up here. And then let it back down. Reach for the floor. Reach for the ceiling. Right hand only. Reach for the floor. Reach for the ceiling. Floor. And ceiling. And floor. Cat. Ceiling. Floor. One more. All the way to the floor. Big rotation. Open your chest to the front. Hey. How you doing? It's pretty good. Elbow to knee. Other side. Reach for the floor. Reach for the ceiling. Every time you reach, stretch out your fingers. Stretch out your hands. Five. No, five. Let's do eight. And seven. You got to reach high. Six. Yeah, this is supposed to be difficult. Five, cat, four, and three. Ooh, something cracked. Two, I'm okay. And one more. One, and done. Okay, okay. We just got a few more. I'm breaking a little sweat. So this is not some, you know, I'm not asking you to deadlift a Buick and then we're going to go run 300 miles. This is just kind of a warm up, get things moving. Yeah. Not bad. All right, this is called James Bond. James Bond was never one to just shoot people. He always had to be really dramatic. So what I want you to do, kick out your right leg, reach across, pew, like James Bond. Pew, pew. Ready? <laughs> so right leg, left hand, and up. Left leg, right hand. Watch out with the cat. Right to left, left to right. Right to left. Your goal is your arm and your leg are 90 degrees. If you're only getting 90, would you not get 90 degrees? Keep working on it. That's why we call them goals. Pew. And six. And five. And four. Three. Two. And one. See? All this rotation, reaching, stretching, doing. Stuff we do every day. You might not do this every day. That would be that would be weird. I have no idea when you would do that. But you most likely kick a leg out. You most likely reach across your body. Huh? I know. Am I crazy? Sometimes it makes sense. Okay. Last thing. Lay back. Take a quick rest. Okay. Stop resting. Just kicking your legs straight out in front of you. If you can't keep them off the ground, kick, kick, kick kick. But if you can, just motor along. Just flutter. Straight legs. It's all the movement and is in the hips. Abs are tight. Whoa, doggies, my abs are tight. Mm, how many want to do? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoo! I've kind of always hated flutter kicks. I don't know why I always do them, though. That's it. Good little go. Good little warm-up. Let's get a little stretch. All right, here we go. Like I talked about your fingers. Fingers out front like you're stopping a bus. Now pull your fingers back towards your face. Little stretch. Nice and easy. Couple deep breaths. Sit up tall. Other hand out front. Pull them back. If you're sitting... I want you sitting up tall. If your back, your posture, your abs, your shoulders are starting to hurt from sitting up tall, get a seat or set your seat up so that your back is still straight. When you get tired, it's not just, okay, now it's okay to do this. Sorry, Laura. I want you to stack things up so you can lean back and keep that posture, but still relax. Okay, kick a leg out straight in front of you, just one, relax it on the floor and lean Nice and easy, straight down that leg, the stretch of hamstrings, springs of ham. Laura likes ham. Big 
deep breath. All right, back up. You are a weird cat. All right, other leg, straight out, relax that leg, fold down on top of it. Now don't pull on that leg to pull your chest down. I just wanted you to kind of easy, rotate your hip over into that leg, get a little stretched on the back of your thigh. Hmm, yes. All right, that's it. Sit up tall, grab your opposite knee, left hand, right knee, and a little turn right on top. Just kind of wring out the dish towel. Other side, grab, easy turn. Oh, that's nice. All right, if you can, reach behind your back. Get a big wide stretch like you're trying to pull your elbows together behind you. Look your head up. Stretch across the front of your chest. Oh, that's nice. All right, one more. All the way up. Take it all the way down. Relax. What do you think of that, Laura? Pretty good? Pretty good? All right. One bone at a time one muscle at a time all the way back up tall and square that's pretty good see i broke a little sweat laura's laura's had a great workout doing her own thing here and we lived through it you know it wasn't that bad <laughs> so uh, good stuff make sure you go and drink a good bit of water after this kind of get to uh, get everything washed out get all that nastiness you might have stirred up get it out of your body i don't know if that's really the truth or not it's something yoga teachers like to tell you but that'll do you keep doing this you know why you keep need to keep doing this because it works all right hope you feel good we'll see you back here next time right laura yeah she cares. She just doesn't express it very well. All right. See ya.